when you start to realize that there's a difference between what you value and in your vision and what people around you value and in their vision. But even though you start to see, even though you start to feel it, but you might be afraid because you don't want to be alone, you don't want to be lonely. Let's face it, it's not really comfortable to feel alone all the time and it doesn't feel safe at all. So that's why we tend to justify our thoughts and decisions when it comes to the people around us or how we spend time with other people. And sadly, most people experience the worst experience instead of choosing to, to be alone and feeling lonely. Most of the case, they're choosing these people because they don't want to feel lonely or they just, you know, happen to have their group of people. So as a result, they don't appreciate you, they don't give a shit about you. Most of the case, they're not going to be the help for you to or become better or to become happier or become physically, mentally healthier and just simply end up creating a bunch of limiting beliefs. And once I was also hanging out with people who doesn't have passion, who doesn't have nothing, no intention to be better, just drinking and acting stupid most of the time, they don't have dreams, they don't have any clear vision in their life. But when I was in that environment, when I was with those people, I started to think and operate in a similar way. And then I started to form this friendship and relationship and etc. And when I don't have these, I started to crave. So I needed to feel that some sort of connection, even though it was a false connection. But the reality of it is just, we're not really used to intentionally choose to be alone or prioritizing ourselves by being alone because we have this idea in a society about being alone. It's sad, it's definitely not fun. So we are almost brainwashed that if you're alone, you're sad, you're weird, you're definitely not a fun person. And obviously nobody wants to associate ourselves to those ideas, but let's face it, the real peace is in the solitude. Not in the way that you're just left alone from a society that you don't have friends and then you have nothing to choose. But it's more like you choose to be alone. You choose peace over the chaos, over this temporarily false idea of connection. So in this video, I'm gonna share why you need to be alone and how you can alchemize the feeling of loneliness into the peace. Welcome to the video, my name is Sean Emoto, I'm a life coach and I've been helping thousand people through my work. In this channel, I share tips to become the best version of self, to become the most authentic version of self and how to heal and etc. with a twist of Japanese philosophy in it. So let's dive in. But first of all, why do we need to be alone? Even though the human being, we live as a tribe. So how can being alone actually help us to become happier or to be better or to find a peace? Let me explain. In our life, we have five different currencies that we are using on a daily basis. One is time. This is a currency in the human body so that we can experience this life. Two is energy. This is a currency to take a physical action and a mental action and also to spiritual action. And three is attention. This is a currency to absorb information and then also to communicate with things and people. And four is kindness. This is a currency to connect with others and animals and people in a deeper level. Five is money. This is a currency to survive in a human society. And most people are just genuinely not really aware of which currency is used for which and what. Imagine you're spending money because money is a very interesting currency that we are always can see it, the numbers and limitations and etc. So imagine that you are spending money, then you have no idea what you what you spend this money for. I don't think that will happen most of the case unless maybe your credit card is stolen or maybe you have shit tons of new credit card payment. I don't think anyone would pay for things that we don't even know or we don't even aware. But the question to you is this, are you aware of every penny of your attention is useful or every penny of your energy is useful? Do you even know how to manage your attention and energy? Like how much you spend your energy on this or how much you spend your attention on this? Or you might be wasting your kindness to the people who takes advantage of you. But unlike money, our currency is not really visible. There's no numbers to it. So right now, I want you to imagine, what if you can use all your currencies, every currency, energy, time, attention, kindness, money, on yourself? And I know some people have kids, some people have families to feed, but just forget all of this. Forget your kids, forget your families, just this moment. Imagine, what if you can spend thousands of dollars for yourself? What if you can use all your attention to yourself, whether you're hitting gym or whether you meditate, whether you learn something new? What would you do if you can spend every currency you have on yourself? Maybe you will build a business. Maybe you go and hit gym so hard and you become super macho. Or maybe you will work on your art piece or you maybe go to Bali. Despite the situation, the way you are, your family, your kids or your parents or etc. 
currency has a limitation. We have certain level of energy that we can use on a daily basis. We have 24 hours every single day and who knows, everyone has a different limitation in lifetime. And if you're paying attention on one thing, then you can pay attention on another thing. This is the reason why you have to be alone so that you can create time and space for yourself. But despite your situation and the condition, you have to create time and space for yourself to be alone, to meditate, to reflect. Because essentially, if you're not alone and if you're creating that time and space for yourself, then you have too many distractions to see yourself. You have too many distractions to think straight, too many distractions to reflect. What I mean by distraction is exactly what you're spending your currencies for. And I do spend so much time for myself by myself and especially when I'm working on something. For example, right now I'm working on my physique and I have been working on my physical body the last five months or so and it's been a journey. I enjoy working out but in order to hit the gym every single day, I need time and energy. If I go to the gym, even if I have time to go to the gym, if I don't have enough energy or if I don't have that attention, then I might scroll on Instagram or like just sit on the bench and go home. But in order to hit hard, in order to accomplish goal, in order to get what I want by hitting the gym, what I need is a different currencies to use. Clearly, if I don't have enough energy because I'm spending too much time and energy with friends and going out, then I cannot, I cannot hit the gym as hard as I wanted to. And also, I'm actually writing a book, so my focus, aka attention, and my energy and time has to be allocated to writing a book as well. And if I'm spending so much time and I'm like spreading my focus away, then it's going to be hard for me to, to stay focused and then write a book. And when you actually have a clarity on what you want or how you want to spend your time or where you want to get to, then you start to see the priorities. So I simply prioritize my growth and what I want in this case, writing a book or you know building my physical body. Because what we need to understand is that we can only live in this present moment, right? Which means this is the exact moment that we can use our currencies for. Attentions, time, energy, your kindness as well. And of course, you can plan things. So you can include your future and the past and then you can pay attention to the future and the past. Meanwhile, you are not in the fully present. That's why you have to understand that the currency that you can use for has to be in this present moment. And when you are paying attention on so much on one thing, then you cannot pay attention to the other thing. Maybe this other thing can be your priority. And most people are saying yes to everything. Maybe there is a pressure. Maybe because, you know, it's fun, it's parties. You know, like girls, boys, yay. But you have to understand that what is your priority? Going to a party is your priority? Some people say, yeah, connection, building a connection. Anyway, so my point is we tend to make a decision based on the pattern that we have. So if you have been saying yes to certain people, then you most likely say yes again. So you, you have to understand that having the clarity of where you want to get to and what you want, whether it's a peace, whether it's a, you know, building a physique, you have to understand that choosing to be alone is essentially saying yes to your growth, your happiness, your bright future by saying no to something that is not serving you anymore. So this is the time for you to evaluate your value and your time, your all the currency you have. The value of the currency you have actually increases as you work on it. Because if you're giving your attention all the time to people, then your attention has zero value. But if your attention is hard to get, now your attention has value. And you don't have to be famous and crazy talented, whatever, simply, if you are very calm and then you find peace and positive and then happier, then your energy actually increases its value. Because everybody wants to hang out with the positive people. Nobody wants to hang out with the negative people and stress out and gossiping all the time. But if you become that person who radiates the positive energy and then actually transfer to people, people want to spend time with you. So you just, by simply working on yourself and being alone and finding peace within, it increases your value. And another thing is that I want you to think about a definition of a pure. It's basically something that's not distracted or polluted, right? If you look at the pure water and it's drinkable and it's beautiful, it's clear, it's not distracted by other chemicals or it's not polluted, then imagine yourself that you are distracted and polluted by other people's energy and other people's negative energy, polluted by all these gossips and all these pressure and etc. Right now, you're not pure. By being alone, you can take away all these unnecessary polluted aspects from you, maybe a part of identity, part of these limiting beliefs, you can take them off 
by being alone so that you can see yourself clearly. Because the more distraction is attached to you, it's harder to see who you actually are. So never feel guilty for choosing what is good for you. And always remember, your currency has its limitations, so you have to use it wisely. If you're ready to start your journey and then find peace within and become confident in an authentic version of yourself, then I have a great news for you. I have only two spots available for my one-on-one -on -one coaching and it will fill up very, very quickly. So if you're ready to use your currency for your growth and for your happiness, then apply from the link below. And it will take you to the website which has a video. So I want you to watch that. It's just a less than 10 minutes video and now explains whether this coaching is for you or not. And if it sounds like this is something for you, then you can go ahead and apply. And with a questionnaire, you can answer questions which takes you four or five minutes of your lifetime. And then me or my team will speak to you on a Zoom call. And I really hope to speak to you soon. Much love. Peace. Live your life like a movie.